Yo, yo, it's your boy Mitch Be On It, watching Mitch Be On It, back with another mother. Bang, baby, check out Listen, man. Today we got some dude that got pulled over by the cops, and it went bad, man. Let me, I'm gonna break down this video, because a lot of people been asking for it, you know. This video is real life, one of the videos that put me on the map, bro. It got in like over... 70, 80 million views on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You know what I mean? A lot of people stole this video and posted it. You know, I'm a little pressed. I ain't get the bread for it, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? But everywhere I go, man, people be stopping me. Hey, yo, Mitch, man, I've seen your video. Woo, woo, this day in the third. So I'm, I got to break down this video because I really didn't really edit it when I posted it. So a little rundown about what was going on in this video was... I was at the gas station. I had a cold or I was sick. You know what I mean? And I stopped to the gas station to get some water or something. You know? So I pulled up and I parked in front. You know, and sometimes you don't park at the pump or you don't even park in the parking spot. I parked in the front. All right? So when I parked in the front, there was police parked, actually parked. They looked at me some type of way because they seen the way I parked. I told y'all, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm sick, I'm in a bad mood. I don't want to talk to nobody. Don't talk to me. I'm just trying to get home. I'm not even trying to be out. You know what I mean? So I go up in the gas station and grab a bottle of water. And I come back, hop in the car. And now the police, they moved. And they're at the opposite side of the gas station. So just by the way that they looked at me, I knew that they were looking for trouble. You know what I mean? And, you know, we all from the block and all this, so we know we could look at somebody and know their intentions. So what I did, I went out the other side of the gas station. So they were at the other exit. There's two exits to a gas station, right? I went out the other side because I ain't want no problems. I told you, I'm not even trying to be out for real. So when I went out the other side, I took a left turn where they connect like this. So they at the light, I came out like this, right? So they were the first car. They went and they busted a Ewing got on my ass. I didn't do nothing. All right. So they get to follow me a little bit. And now. Point because the way you're acting. Let's get into on. it, man. Oh, okay. I just want to give y'all a little rundown so y'all not confused about what's going on. Get the dog or canine to come out. All right. Bring the canine. Bring the FBI. Bring the CIA. Do whatever you got to do, bro. All right. So this is when they following me. You know, they on Indiana plates. And even in the little dash right there, they got... As y'all see in my face, I'm just not in the mood, bro. When somebody not in the mood, leave them alone, man. It's simple. So now they turn on their lights. I started recording because I already knew what it was, man. They were looking for trouble, you know. It's usually criminals or whatever that are out looking for trouble but nowadays it's the police looking for trouble somebody minding their own business they want to go mess with them bro see that's the water bottle i just bought little brickhead ass motherfucker oh, yeah, man well, these are as dirty as they they come, you know, I'm trying not to cuss on my YouTube channel, you know what I mean, but this dude is one of the dirtiest they come, man, on my mama, if I was, if I, if I wasn't experienced with the police, or just experienced in general, they would have had fun with me, man, they would have took advantage of me, trying to give me tickets for anything, oh, you did this, no, I didn't, no, I did not. Serve the old police car, I pulled you over because you made that left turn off of 167th on the Grange Road, you made it in the middle lane, you gotta make it into the left lane, the curb lane. Uh, went into the left lane. You went right in the lock in the middle. No, I didn't. Did it. No, I did it. License Stop no, I did it. You got footage? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, let me get a little rundown while I ask for footage. If y'all don't know, before you get pulled over, the police got 30 seconds to turn on his lights because after he turns on his lights, that's when the uh, uh, camcorder that they got records for 30 seconds behind. So say you don't stop at a stop sign fully. Police gets on you but doesn't turn on his lights. He has no proof that you didn't stop. It's your word. Oh, you know what? He wants you to admit to it. He that's all they want. Once you admit to guilt, they can they can cite you for your citation. You know what I mean? But if it hasn't been in that 30 seconds, they got no proof, bro. They're lying. 
They're playing know, mind games. Show me the footage. You, you can't lying. see it. I went into the left lane. Okay, can I have your driver's license and proof of insurance? No. I need a sergeant. No, I need a driver's license and proof of no. insurance. No. Don't tell me no. I do. <laughs> I need a sergeant. <laughs> There's no sergeant available right now. Yes, there is. Call in, and I need to hear on the radio. If there isn't, then we can... By law, by law, the police need to bring a sergeant or a white shirt. If you ask for one... They need to bring one by law. So this is how I knew that they didn't really have nothing on me and they were playing dirty with me. As Once you ask for a sergeant, they cannot talk to you. They need to stop talking to you and they need to bring a sergeant. Because a sergeant don't play no games. They're by the book. They're by the law. These little tyrants or whatever y'all call them, they be booze. You know what I mean? They want you to admit to something you never did. And that's why a lot of people go to jail for a crime they never did, bro. Because they got in their head. They played with them. Huh? You know what I mean? And go from there. No, this, you're not running no. that traffic stop. Someone has to prove driver's no. license. No, you're insurance. pulling me over, and it's wrong. It's mm. not. Driver's I went insurance. into the left lane. No. Okay. So this is. Well, yeah, license. Well, it's not pausing, bro. No. All right, move. <laughs> okay. So right now is when they call for backup. And about six, six or seven police cars came, bro. Uh, state police showed up and the sheriff. And y'all gonna see later in the video, I got to call in my own people. I'm, yo, pull up. They about to kill me. You know what I mean? You have license? I need a sergeant. Okay. So I'm asking for a sergeant here. And this lady came out of nowhere thinking that she gonna somehow convince me to follow what they want me to do, bro. Somehow. I don't know what she thought. If she came and tried to talk to me some type of way that they were going to get what they wanted, bro. Not getting a sergeant. See, this is when I closed my window and I was, I'm not dealing with y'all, though. Y'all bring a sergeant and then I'll deal with them. But instead, she took it as in I was trying to close my window and run away. So she get to pulling on the door handle, trying to open my door to get me out. And then the other cop, he went and put stop strips all over the wheels around the car. All right. Unlocked car. Don't get a sergeant. You're not getting a sergeant. Listen. Unlocked car. She's trying to open the door. You will, get, you will get a sergeant, but you got to go to our station. No, no. Yes. He told me there was no sergeant available. There isn't a sergeant available. How do you guys know? But you can go, because we have a little clipboard that our, our computer shows how everyone's available and not available. We do not have a sergeant on scene right now. If you want to complain, though, okay. you, you can Take, go look, to our look, station. Look, look, look. Take your hand off my door. I'm going to give you my you license, okay? okay? I will. I will. See, this is when I was in my head was... Man, we making something out of nothing for real. All right, these police, their ego was hit because I'm I'm running the traffic stop. You pulling me over, so I run the traffic stop. Without you pulling me over, you got no traffic stop. So how are you going to tell me that there is no traffic stop? You know what I mean? So their ego got hit. They pulling guns on me. I'm going to show you all the cop, two cops that did. So I was like, right, you know what? Let me cooperate a little bit. Okay, because they're, it's wrong. What they're doing is wrong. You know what I mean? Say they pull over a lady or a mama with her kids and they get to treating her like this. Somebody that can't defend themselves. Now they fully taking advantage of them. Or somebody, an immigrant that don't know the laws or nothing. Because, you know, like my, my parents, immigrants, you know what I mean? In their head, what they were raised was the police is always right. The teacher is always right. The principal is always right. They cannot be wrong. So... When we used to get pulled over as kids, my parents used to listen to them and never tell them nothing. And they would always get, you know what I mean? Because they didn't know the law. They couldn't defend themselves. All right? And this is our generation to break that shit, dude. Because police will take advantage as far as you let them. And it's wrong. Because their motto is to protect and serve. Why y'all creating the violence, dude? Y'all creating the violence. Right, I'm going to give you, you know? my license. Okay. We need to calm down the situation. All right. right. Okay. okay. All right, then we're good. All right. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. So you know that if you decide to take off, there's a stop stick. I, I already stopped. Your tire, okay? I already stopped. I'm just telling you, there's I, a no. stop stick. Or... So he came back after he put all the strips around the vehicle. I, I, I don't care. I don't off, care. Okay? I stopped. I if somebody you. stops, why are they running away? Right? I've seen it. I don't care. I've seen people. Have your ID on you? Okay. See, this is when I'm Strong mad. Oh, be cool, cool. be okay, cool, you know. Here's my license. Y'all yeah, just call me on a bad day, okay? What's going on today? It don't... Somebody having a bad day, why you asking them questions, dude? It's none of your damn business, man. 
matter what's going on. Right. I'm, having, I'm in a bad mood, okay? That's it. It doesn't matter what's going on. What'd you do today? It doesn't matter. Okay, here's my license. Check it. And now she was getting upset because I wasn't answering none of her questions. You know what I mean? So now her ego hit even harder. So in the beginning when she was like, oh, he doesn't want to give you his license. Move. move. All right, look. What's going on? Come on, give me the license. All right, move. All right, move. What's going on, man? Ah, 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 ah. Shorty thought she did some, bro. All right, move. Damn, I don't care. I I'm having, I'm in a bad mood, okay? That's it. It doesn't matter what's going on. What'd you do today? It doesn't matter. Okay, here's my license. Check it. If y'all want to write me a ticket, I'm going to court. That's it. Look, we ain't trying to make you write a ticket. Right nah, now. you are. You are. Stop lying, bro. And this is something that police do. They're allowed to lie, but you're not allowed to lie, dude. How does that make sense? The laws to protect you. Why do they have laws that don't protect you, dude? It's crazy. No, because you guys were in the gas station, right. and then you guys were in the light, and y'all followed me, right or not? Y'all targeted me, no, right or not? No, no, you didn't use the turn signal. I did not. But well, why he didn't tell me that? Time. He didn't tell me. If y'all remember in the beginning, he told me I went into the middle lane instead of the left lane. Now she came around saying you didn't use a turn signal. So which one is it? You know what I mean? They thought they were just gonna pull me over, groovy. They're gonna write me whatever they want to write me, and they were gonna get on with the day. You know what I mean? I See, they expect to take advantage of you. They don't expect somebody to speak up and defend themselves, man. Put up turn signal number one. Not he told not me turning, it was because I turning, went in the middle lane. Not turning. Anyway, um, this is not something to argue about. Throat. We're not arguing. If you want to write me a ticket, write me it. I'll go to court okay. and we can work from there. I don't want no problems. I don't want, I don't want to make either. a fucking movie and all this stupid shit. Nah, we don't need that it. Shit, right? we, we don't need, need it. it. We don't need it. Where you stay at? Doesn't matter. It's on my license. Alright, dude. Okay? <laughs> you ain't gotta be a dick. You ain't gotta be a dick. I'm pissed off today, okay? Yeah, I have bad days too, but you know, if I, if I act like that, I, like Y'all talk. I'm guessing nobody start fucking with you when you're in a bad mood. You know, I have bad days too. So your, your coffee spills on the floor, now you got a bad day. That's your problems, bro. Don't ever try and compare your problems to somebody else's problems, dude. You don't know. What if my homie just got shot? Somebody in my family died. I got bad days too. Your coffee spilled on the floor. Now you got a bad day. Don't compare your problems to other people's problems. You know what I mean? Targeting me. I'm not targeting you. Y'all was following me from the gas station. No. Yes or no? Did, were, was our vehicle behind you? And then y'all, it was a red vehicle? light. Y'all cut the light without turning because on your lights. Because you didn't turn signal and then no, you made I an did. improper turn. I did. If no, you could you show me the footage. So we do. We have our camera, our dash cam on. If they but did, then they wouldn't out. be talking like this. We saw this. you not use a turn signal. Okay? And then you made an improper turn. I don't know I don't know if he didn't tell you that, but I'm telling you that now. Because right. I was on that side, I couldn't hear shit because the wind and you know, all the traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when they pulled up to my car, she came up on the passenger side thinking I'm going to open the window for her. That's courtesy. That's something that I'm going to do to be cordial. Why should I be cordial to y'all if y'all inconveniencing me? Yeah, oh, I couldn't hear nothing. Exactly. Get back in the car, dude. Stupid. We saw you not use the turn signal. <laughs> you know okay? what I mean? And then you made an improper turn. I don't, know, I don't know if he didn't tell you that, but I'm telling you that now. Because right. I was on that side. I couldn't hear shit because of the wind and you know, all the traffic driving by. <laughs> okay? Tell you. I'm right. not feeling good for real. Yeah, we're good. So those your license checks all bad. We'll get you out of here, all right? All right. Okay? All right. Move around, man. Tell me, y'all, man. I was, I was at it. I don't like to write tickets. Okay? I'll be straight with you. I don't like to write tickets. Alright. How old are you? It's on my license. I don't, I don't got your license. Alright. Alright, please. I don't want to have no small talk. I'm right, bitch. Move on. around, right. man. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. You don't got to do small talk then. But this, the whole day, I did have to tell you about the stop sir, okay? That that's underneath your tire. I'm not going nowhere. I stopped. Alright. <laughs> Dude, I can't tell you how many times people have handed me their license. See, this and, uh, is what police like, right, do. Okay, let me tell you. They try and do psychological games. Like, after they stop you, they try and talk to you like y'all friends and all this. So you can break that guard down. Your guard a little bit. So you could be like, you know what? I did break the law, man. Write me a ticket right now. You know what I mean? I don't know what goes on in their head. Or, for example... You, they arrest you. You in the back of the cop car going to the county. They try and talk to you like y'all friends. We not friends, bro. You throwing me in jail, man. A friend would have been like, yo, I caught you, but I'm going to let you slide this one time. That's a friend. 
Not, oh, you're going to jail, put you in the county. That's not no friend, bro. I don't know what they be thinking. Like, they be dealing with people that be off, you know what I mean? And they not thinking straight, so they think they could talk like that to everybody, bro. Later. All right, because y'all playing little games also. Right. Y'all Indiana plays, right? We don't what? Y'all Y'all playing games. Y'all got game? Indiana license You know how much cheaper it is? They have shit out of Indiana? It's, it's not that it's cheaper. That's bullshit. It is cheaper. Right. And then y'all got an Uber sticker. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's an online truck. It's cheaper truck. too? Come on, bro. It's an online truck. Playing... It's cheaper, the right? stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's that. Right. That's, that's what it is. No, Don't that's tell an me it's cheaper. Squad. It is cheaper, by the way. Indiana can build their own lines completely cheaper. And I think you know that. Well, mama Don't know like that. Ha! <laughs> Alright, give me a second. Get you out of your morning, alright? See, look. This is when I got pissed off and I really, like, start making phone calls. Because, look. Just because I'm by myself don't mean I don't got people behind me, bro. That's what a lot of people don't understand is if somebody by themselves don't mean he don't got nobody, dude. You mess with one, you might mess with all of them, dude. And people think, I don't really want to say this, but... Just because you got a badge don't really mean nothing, dude. That means something when you're on the job. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not trying to... You know, j that's just what it means. You feel me? So, she says she's going to give me a warning. And now he come back around saying we want to search the car. Well, I see the bullshit I got to fucking deal with. The right. motherfuckers want to come live in Chicago. Right. Bro. Come on, bro. Right. Real quick, I see you reaching all over the place, man. You good? See? This is when I start making calls. My mans get to getting on the road. They're on the way, bro. You know what I mean? Because they weren't going to let this one slide, bro. I hate to say it, man, but when you try and live right and clean, dude, it's always somebody that got to come and push you to the limits. Always, man. I went to go get medicine. Now I'm on the way back to the crib, and they want to do all this. You know what I mean? So this is when my, my people on the way are How long it take to write a ticket, bro? All right, I'm working on it. Oh, I'm going to ask you, you got anything in this car? We got no weapons, drugs, weapons, drugs noise, nothing. bombs, explosions. I already told her. I'm not making no problems. There's no problems. Okay? Okay, I'm just asking That's, you. Where does bond? Where does what? Where does bond? Where does what? It's bond. This stupid bozo mother... You know what I mean? Where does what? He ain't never heard word is bond. Everybody know what that mean, dude. But he playing stupid. I'm pissed off with myself when I watch this. And I repeated myself three times, bro. I should have told him, bro, if you illiterate, that's on you, dude. You know what I mean? Fun? No problems. Okay. All right. So All do right. you have any of those illegal substances in the vehicle? What, are, what did I just say? Right. I, I don't understand. I said there's nothing in the car. What I just say? I'm telling y'all, man, these people's ego got hit hard, bro. It got hit. I didn't understand what that meant. Bond. B-O-N-D. You okay. illiterate mother, mother. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it means. Anyway. How long does it take to write a ticket? Well, at this point, because of the way you're acting, everything going on, uh, I'm working on getting the dog, a canine to come out. All right, bring canine, bring the FBI, bring the CIA, do whatever you gotta do, bro. Okay, right. I'm asking if there's anything now we can. I already bring told your you. mama too, bro. <laughs> Let her save your stupid ass, man. And my people don't play around, man. I'm hey, baby. Okay. Straight up, man. Bring right. your mama too, G. Crying. I already told you, I'm good. I have no problems, nothing. All right. All right. No, I told you. I mean, if you don't want to wait for a canine. All right. So, before I start making phone calls, police start closing all the lanes, okay? They made a little, I don't know, guard or whatever it was. They closed off the lanes, and they start making people go around, all right? Just because of the fact that they try to kill me. I'm my mama. I thought I was going to die, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all, G. The way six police came, state, sheriff, and they surrounded the whole car, I'm done, you know what I mean? I'm done, dude. And I start making calls because people going to die tonight, man. You can just step out. Well, I got to step out. You don't got to step out. I'm just saying, if you don't no. want to... If you don't want to... See how this dude came? There's two on the other side of the car around right here. They just surrounded the whole car like seven cops, dude. You can just step out. Well, I got to step Look out. Look how he came out. You don't got to step little. out. I'm just saying, if you don't want to... If you don't want to wait out for a canine, <laughs> then we can just... Make this it's all intimidation the aspects that police do. Bring the dogs. Bring the dogs. Bring the dogs. Right. I'm just trying to make it fast. No, you said you gotta no, go. no. Because you say you was going to give me a warning. Now you want to bring the dogs and all this shit. We did have a warning for you. All right. It's all right. Huh? It's all right. Do what you got to do. Right. Ridiculous. All right. Man. He's ready back. 
This is just a warning. We're not going to make you wait another 15 minutes for dog. I'm not doing it. Okay? It's not that they don't want to. They can't by law. They can't wait. make you wait for a dog, dude. I'm telling y'all. They came to ask me two, three times because they want you to uh, uh, not line up what you're saying. He, he didn't like when I told him, bring your FBI, bring the CIA, bring whoever you want, man. Just wish I told him, bring your mama too. Let him go crazy. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, bro, I, I review these videos on YouTube and everything just to show show, show y'all, you know what I mean? How important it is to know the laws so nobody could take advantage of you. Know everything about everything, bro. Go pick up a book and just read because you never know when you're going to need that knowledge. You know what I mean? And I never started this YouTube channel to post me getting pulled over. I never did that. You know what I mean? I just start getting pulled over after I start making videos. So I was like, I feel like police targeting me. You know what I mean? So I meant, let me record it so they could stop. And that's exactly what happened. Police was pulling me every day. They knew my car. That's why I was in this car. Because I don't want them knowing the other car. You know what I mean? So I started recording them. And I would get pulled over by the same police. If you go and watch my shorts and my videos, the same police pulling me over, pulling me over, pulling me over. I even thought about selling my car. You know what I mean? But I was, man, it's all right. So after I start posting these videos, police stop fucking with me, kind of. They still pull me over every now and again, but... Some people in the comments trying to blame it on me. Oh, you're a madman. You shouldn't have no license. Who would have stand in the third? But they don't see the bigger picture because they never experienced something like this. You know what I mean? This wasn't the first time I experienced something like this. But this is the first time I posted it and I recorded it. And that's why I think people got to start doing. Spread the word, man. You know what I mean? It's sad that a lot of people get taken advantage by the people that are supposed to protect you, man. It's a... Up world, man. Everything a dollar at the end of the day. It don't matter. You feel me? But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments, man. Comment your comments, baby. Mitch be on it. Oh.